Good morning. Today is day 60 of our index card challenge. We are almost done. We've got today and tomorrow and our series will be complete. I cannot believe that I did it every single day. I didn't think I'd make it through because things happen. <laughs> but we did. Here's our card from yesterday and our stack and we will go through the stack probably on day 61 or maybe the day after. I'm not sure which. Today's card, all I have out is this. And the only reason I have this out is because I was going through papers, I was building a journal that I want to do some echo printing in. So I kept this out because it's a scrap. So that's what I've got today so far. That's it. Before we talk about the Blueberry Girls, I wanna address this. This is a gift that I got in the mail at my PO box, which I was totally, totally surprised by. Well, I wasn't surprised when I got to the box because they told me to go to the box, but I was surprised when they told me to go to the box. I don't even know what to say. It's, thank you is just not enough, but that's all the words I can say, thank you. I, I appreciate you thinking of me, and this is from Terry Rocha, and she just sent this as a, she said a thank you. So, I just so appreciate it, but what she sent was a paintbrush, which I always can use. This feels heavy, so I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pick it up and go <laughs> like I always do. But it's a one inch Princeton Select Flat Wash, and I absolutely will use this. If you see, some of my brushes are kinda, this is kinda old and flimsy. This one is ruined. <laughs> I can't use this anymore. And it's got tape around it. This will definitely come in handy. So thank you so much, Terry. And she also sent a block of the rubber for stamp carving. I don't know if that's a hint to get on with the stamp carving video or what, but <laughs> I am so appreciative of this because I love to carve stamps. I haven't done a whole lot of them. And I do plan on doing a video because it's been requested, but I love doing it. It's so much fun. I've never used the blue. I don't know if there's a difference between the blue and the pink. I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. So maybe if you know, you can tell me in the comments. And the other thing she sent was these Arteza pens, and they are high opacity, smooth writing, acid free, ideal for adding accents and highlights. And they're white, and there's a fine, medium, and a bold. And I have not opened this yet. I, I picked this up last night at the post office. I opened the bags because I couldn't contain myself because I was so happy. I've heard of Arteza. Actually, Arteza emailed me once, many, many moons ago, asking me if I wanted to do some stuff with their stuff, um, if they sent it to me. And I did respond to them and ask them some questions, but they never got back to me. I never said a yes to them. And then I noticed a lot of artists were using their Arteza brand doing the videos so i guess they all said yes without questions but i had a question so anyway oh these look fun oh i can't wait to try these one is a 1.0 one is a 0.6 and one is a 0.8 so i can't wait to try these so thank you so much terry and this little box looks like it'd be a cute little mini album <laughs> i'm gonna hold these in reserve because what I think I might do is when I do the stamp carving video, I might actually incorporate everything here into a project from the stamp we create. That's my thinking. And the video for the stamp carving will probably be, I don't know, sometime after the index cards are done, as soon as I take a break and get my breath back. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to the Blueberry Girls. I have two new additions today. One is right here. We have a blueberry butterfly now, and the reason that came about is because there was this dark mark here and here. They weren't connected, so I drew the circle and I drew the oblong one, and before I connected it here, I thought I was gonna make flowers, but I thought, oh, that'd be a cute butterfly. So I went ahead and connected it and just made some wings and then painted it in and gave it the little blueberry thing. So it's only got one antenna because it's a blueberry butterfly. <laughs> and the other one is down here. This little girl is sitting under the stairs and she's reading a book. And this little girl is going to represent a subscriber named Amherst, A-M-H-E-R-S-T. If you're watching this video, I am not going to sign the little girl right now because that's the only name I know you by. So what I'd like to know is, do you want me to use the name Amherst for her or do you want to give me your name to put on her? But she's reading a book and the reason she's reading a book is because Amherst has mentioned on a couple of occasions that I should write a children's book 
and she's mentioned that she sees a blueberry children's book in, in my future. I don't know that that will ever happen, but I thought it was a cute idea. So I gave Amherst a little book to read because she's mentioned books several times. So she's reading a little blueberry girl book. So I'm not going to sign her and I'm going to wait and see if Amherst watches the video. Um, she watches quite a few of them and she does comment frequently. So maybe we'll get lucky and she'll see this one, but I just need to know what name you want me to sign on here. Okay, so let's get on with our card. So once again, this is all I have out for the card today. And what I would like to do is figure out how to use this. <laughs> I'm going to go through my scraps and my painty papers and things like that and see if there's something I want to add to this. And I think what I would like to do is attach a top to this and go from there. Here's what I've saved out of my scrap box. I went through the whole box. This is the palette paper that you see me use sometimes where I just put paint out and use it for stamping or whatever. And it's kind of a slick paper and it comes in a little pad. I don't have it with me or I'd show you, but I save the palettes when I get to the point where I like the color combinations and so I stop using the paper and I change the paper. I kept this out because I really like this area. And then I save these out just because they spoke to me as I went through the box. The first thing I want to do though is at least get a background down on my card and that will help me move along, I think. I want to attach part of this to this in such a way that I can then cover my card. I think I want some more on here. I might add this on there too. I didn't know till I cut it. I could have just put the whole thing on, but I actually like cutting it off and then turning the pieces that go together opposite, like that. That's the only thing I like that I pulled out. I really like that a lot. So I'm gonna glue this down. I'm going to try something before I commit to this flower, which I really like on there. I really like this piece. It's got the leaves. I want to use those leaves if possible. So I'm going to draw a flower, but I don't know if I want it on tissue paper or copy paper or this plan, this architect plans that I used yesterday. I was thinking about using this area here. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to try all three papers and just see what I like. And this is just a Derwent Ink Tense Payne's Gray pencil. I think that's what I used for this. It's either that or the blue Stabilo. Maybe I should test it and see. Hmm, I think that's the blue Stabilo. Maybe I'll use both. So this is a Stabilo All pencil, just like the black one I use, except it's in blue. I'm gonna take a wet paintbrush and sort of move the color around a little bit.
I'm gonna use this metallic jelly roll pen. I don't know what color it is, kind of a coppery color, but I'm gonna make my stem for my flower out of that because around the leaf is a little bit like this color and I might go around my flower with it too. I think I'm almost done. I'm gonna glue down the word confidence. And one of the things I like about this word is that it's kind of on a bluish background, similar to the paper in the architecture plans. And so I'm gonna bring that over here and glue that down. I was going to use the phrase confidence comes from you. I was gonna cut out those words, but I like the word by itself. And I tested it in a few areas and I liked it best over here. This is a regular pencil. I'm debating on using my Stabilo All Black or the blue to kind of go around here too. This is the Payne's Gray. I like that, that's good enough. Just a little bit of the Payne's Gray down there. I like that. I need one more thing. There's something else I need. I think I need a little bit more black somewhere. Maybe one more place. I've got black in here and here. I've got this piece and I'm going to use a little section of it. All right, that's all I'm gonna do today. I think that's very sweet. It's very sweet looking. Very simple, I like it. All right, so thanks for being here, I appreciate it. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.